In this lesson, we'll explore creating more complex geometry using tangent arcs. First, open a new SolidWorks document. Select Part and select OK. Select the Sketch tool and then the Line tool. The front, top, and right planes become visible. Let's select the top plane. Select the Grid Snap button and activate the grid. Click OK. Let's start by creating a horizontal line. The yellow symbol you see at the end of the Line tool indicates that the line is horizontal. If your line isn't straight, the symbol will disappear. Click, and let's create a second line at an angle to the first line. Click again. Now, let's create a tangent arc. In order to activate the arc tool, drag the pencil tool over the last point. Now, the line tool becomes the arc tool. You'll see a blue dashed line following the line tool. This line represents the actual geometric relationship. In order to change the direction of your arc, move the arc through the point of origin again. OK, let's create a tangent arc at 180 degrees. To switch between an arc and a line, you can also right-click and select Switch to Arc, or right-click and Switch to Line. Let's continue with our sketch. Now we see a yellow line. This line doesn't represent the geometric relationship. The yellow lines are more like a guideline. Let's continue with our sketch. This line is horizontal, as you can see. And now this point is perpendicular to this point. Click again, and let's create one more tangent arc. Let's finish this sketch. Zoom to fit. As we see, SolidWorks has added four tangent relationships and two horizontal ones. Let's now fully define our sketch using the Smart Dimension tool. Let's start by defining this line, as we learned in the first lesson. Accept. Every created dimension can be positioned in different ways. Like this, like this, or like this. Click and accept. Let's define our arcs too. Accept. Accept. Now let's devise this angle. Click on this line and this line. The smart dimension automatically becomes an angle dimension. We can position the angle dimension in four different ways. Here, 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 and the bottom left. Let's position it right here. Click OK. Let's dimension this line. Our sketch is still blue. 
the reason being that we didn't define our sketch against the zero coordinate point. Click on the zero coordinate point. Click here and let's add one more dimension. And one more dimension. Now you can see our sketch is black, which means, of course, that it's fully defined. Except, let's use the extrusion tool now, as you learned in lesson one. Enter 20 millimeters and accept. 